I'm Kathleen Cook, Director of Marketing and Field Operations for AEG International. We're here today at the Research Labs of Direct Energy Partners and AEG International to share with you what's going on regarding direct current electrical systems. Joining me is the founder and CEO of Direct Energy Partners, Dusan Berlick, the preeminent subject matter expert on DC electrical systems. Thanks for joining me. Thank you for having me. So I was not a history major, but didn't DC lose out to AC over 100 years ago? It did, but 100 years ago, it wasn't really cost effective to transmit DC over long distances. If you want to transmit any power over long distances, you effectively have to raise the voltage of that system. So utilize as little copper area as possible. So what's changed? Well, today we live in a DC world with an AC infrastructure, effectively. Everything around us is DC, but what has really changed that allows us to transmit DC power long distances are power electronics. And so power electronics are the way we change voltages in a DC systems from low to high. So where do we even start to produce and distribute DC electricity? Well, solar panels natively produce power as DC and batteries natively store power as DC. If you want to put together your own power plant, it makes the most logical sense to do it as DC mm -hmm. because you eliminate all the extra conversion points between AC and DC. That's exactly what we have here in the lab. About 34 kilowatts of solar, that's DC, and it directly couples to the lighting that's above our head. So it doesn't go out to the electrical infrastructure, but you take solar panels and you run it to DC lights. We also have electric vehicle chargers that accept power as DC and output it to the car as DC. So you can charge your car most efficiently and also charge it from solar only if that's the only source of power available. We also have DC appliances in the lab from, from manufacturers that are introducing uh, DC appliances in the market in the coming years, like washers, stylers, dryers, vacuum cleaners, even a natively DC OLED TV. But what we really focus on in this lab is trying to solve interoperability problems between all these pieces of equipment in a system. For example, we have to figure out how do you actually distribute power as DC mm -hmm. inside of a building? We are trying to solve those challenges here as well. So there's a lot of legacy infrastructure with AC. How can someone switch to DC if they're interested? Well, you have to start by eliminating all the power conversion points within your system, all the AC to DC and DC AC power conversion points, and match the power type for your source of generation, the source of consumption. So if you think of like electric vehicles, if you will, the only way to fast charge them is through DC power. So if you want to develop a DC fast charging infrastructure, then you would use solar as DC and store the power as DC, but also distribute it as DC to the electric cars. Okay, so I can better charge my phone and laptop, but what other appliances could I buy that would utilize DC? It's an emerging market. Okay. You can, for the most part, feed DC power into AC appliances, but you can't feed AC into DC. Mm -hmm. Because you can feed DC into AC, most manufacturers are ready and willing to bring more products and appliances to the market. Everything around us today pretty much runs on DC, whether that's your TV, your iPad, you know, high efficiency air conditioning systems and motors, electric cars, everything runs on DC. So we kind of have to figure out how do we jump this hurdle. Last question, Dusan. Say I'm a product manufacturer and this DC train is coming. What can DEP and AEG do to help me get ready? So if you're a product manufacturer that's working on a existing DC product or is thinking about introducing a new DC product to the market, we'd like to hear from you because I believe that together we can overcome and solve these interoperability challenges that come with system integration. And how could they reach out to you? They can just go on our website. They can just go to directenergypartners.com and enter their contact information and we'll, we'll reach out to them. Perfect. Well, thank you so much for joining me, Dusan. Yeah, thank you for having me. It's been a pleasure.
If you'd like to find out more, you can get in touch with us by visiting our website at directenergypartners.com and schedule a tour of our DC Microgrid Innovation Lab. You can also find more information on our activities at aeginternational.us. We'll see you next time.